Fantastic. Live via satellite, we have a viewer's home story and comedian Kevin Nealon is in the house. Yeah. I want to get him out here right away. My first guest created hilarious characters like Franz of Hans and Franz and the subliminal man during his nine years as a cast member on Saturday Night Live. Most recently, he's been moonlighting as the pot-smoking accountant on Weeds. Take a look. How did Dana take it? <sighs> she would have been devastated. Would have been. I was going to. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember the plan. But I, I just, I just, I couldn't. But hey, we, you know, we could still see each other. I mean, the sex is fantastic. And look at the bright side. One of us doesn't have to go sneaking around anymore. Lucky you. Your own talk show. I got it. Now, it's right happening right now. You don't even—you uh, barely fit on this couch. You're so tall. Know it. Did all the other cast members from Will and Grace get their own talk show too? Yes, we all have one. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, Malali. we all have one. Mm -hmm. They are right after each other. I should have known you a long time ago. You're uh -huh. somebody that you know. Would we would have had a lot of fun chatting? The, the Irish kids. And we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. In fact, there's so much I want to talk to you about. I don't think we'll be able to get to it. So. <laughs> Maybe we just hang out. Plus, why even try? I know yeah, it, Yeah, why Megan even Malali. try? Your what? name is hard to say without sounding drunk. Malali. <laughs> it's like, hey, I love you, Malali. Aren't, aren't you drunk? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's hard I to say. I couldn't pronounce my own name until I was about 11, and that's not a joke. People would, I would be at school, and people would say, what's your name? And I'd say, Megan Malali. I wasn't really sure what it was. It For was too hard. For a long time, hard. I didn't know what your, your name was. Uh, you know, there was always talk about this actress on Will and Grace, and it was always Megan something like that. <laughs> nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Yeah, nobody they, knows. I still am hardly sure. They wrote it on the wall, so it's easier for me to, uh, <laughs> to remember now. Now, what is That's this? What you, I was talking you have about something. Before, when look, I, I got rubber bands on my wrist. How about that? Because I put my hair in a ponytail. I have to have them. It's my security blanket. Now, what is this? Okay, what I, are you up to, I've, Mister? I've, I've done quite I'm a suspicious. few talk shows over the years, and they always have a gift bag. <laughs> And, you know, some of them aren't that good. But I'm knowing that you have a new show. I've not looked in this yet. Mm -hmm. That you have a new show. You're trying to impress your guests, yeah. probably, to get them to come back and come Put back again. Put our best again. foot forward. Yeah, so I'm thinking there's going to be some really good items in here. Uh-huh. Um, I'm thinking maybe uh, an iPod. Uh-huh. I'm thinking maybe a, a watch. Keep guessing. Maybe. Oh, I'm serious. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, no, I know it, the way these well, I, I, I know it's something very, very impressive. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you're opening now for the first time? I, yeah, I've not seen it oh, at well, all. Oh, well, you're going to be extremely impressed. Let me see one more yeah. guess. Um, iPod, maybe a gift certificate uh, to Williams and Sonoma? Better. It's even better than that. Even better than that. Okay, that's not a gift, right? That's okay, not that's it, not no. Gift. <laughs> Although that could be used for that's not something. A gift. That's perfectly usable. Maybe a watch case I'm pulling out now? Oh, <laughs> Okay, I see what you're doing. You're putting the crappy did, stuff on first, and then when you crappy? get to the bottom. Did you? I mean crappy, the paper. Did, That's Did nice. you have one of those before? I have no. five of those at home. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. All right, well, well, you'll get a refund. You'll get a refund. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Is that, if that's not enough for you, then I don't know oh, what that's is. that's nice. I mean, come you. on. Thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now, the season finale of Weeds was so much fun, and I love your whole storyline with Elizabeth Perkins. You guys oh, are great yeah. together. She's an old friend of mine from a million years ago. And uh, You've been friends with her for a long time. That's what yeah. I'm saying, <laughs> yes. She's not old. No. <laughs> uh, you're a stickler about the language. I just don't want any of this coming back to you later. Yeah, no, you're right. No. I don't want anybody mad at me. No. So let's right. keep this. So you correct me if I make any more mistakes okay. like that, because I don't want to get in trouble. Well, okay, this is not a mistake. 
All right. But that's nice. Okay, that's good. Nice. So, okay, so so far I've only made really yeah. one mistake. All right, now you're on that show and you're the big pothead, one of the big potheads. Is it, <laughs> is it hard to act like you're stoned all the time? Excuse I'm me, trying sir. To sit like you. Well, you're, I know your legs oh, are terribly well, that's long. Be tough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these um. boats you've got. You're free. <laughs> <laughs> That's not mean a thing, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's really? That's no. not true? That old uh... I'll be size 15. <laughs> size 15. It's got to mean something, honey. I'm sorry, but all right. We'll get to that later. <laughs> so, yeah, weeds. Um, uh, I play a pothead on there, and it's we're not smoking real pot on that show. A lot of people think it's real pot, but it's actually... I, wouldn't, I would not think you were smoking real pot. That would be hard to get through the day, I yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although the stuff we smoke is uh, it's debilitating, because I don't smoke normally, and it's, uh. it's called a honey rose herb. Uh. And it's, it's still smoke, and when you inhale it, it kind of makes you lightheaded. So, you know, the first couple of days we're doing that, we thought maybe they were using real pot. Nobody said anything. <laughs> you know, we, we didn't want to say anything. We thought, well, well, whatever. <laughs> All right. When in Rome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've smoked those herbal cigarettes, and they're very, they're strong. They are strong. Yeah. They are strong. And then um, you get the munchies, but uh, for, <laughs> for nothing in particular, though. So you were on Saturday Night Live for... Uh, 27 years. 27, yeah. Uh, 27, 27 happy, 27 happy, happy seasons. Yeah, happy seasons. <laughs> yes. And uh, how, I mean, what, what really stands out for you? Because that's quite a while to be on a show. Well, I, um, a lot stands out for me on that show. Um, one in particular, we did the Hans and Franz characters. We're making fun of... Uh, you and Dana Carvey. Yeah. yeah. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're making fun of Arnold Schwarzenegger and bodybuilding. And uh, Dana Carvey and I, we came up with these characters. And then we heard one, one year Arnold wanted to come on the show and be in a sketch with Hans and Franz. He did. Yeah, and um, Dana and I looked at each other and we thought, doesn't he know we're making fun of him? <laughs> and then we decided after a while, after thinking about it, we thought, well, he's coming on the show to kill us. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> so the day came, and they came and got us on the set. And... Um, and then they took off really fast. They said, Arnold's in the dressing room. Let's talk to you guys. And they split. And uh, <laughs> we were like two kids going to the principal's office. We started, you know, panicking. We were blaming each other. You came up with it. No, I didn't. You want to do the uh, Austrian accent. You, you want to say girly man. No, I didn't. And we got to the dressing room, and Maria Shriver, his wife, is waiting outside the uh, dressing room looking at us like this as we walked by. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> and it was weird because we were walking that way. <laughs> Some kind of a dyslexic Kennedy thing, I guess. But anyway, we get into the dressing room, and it's full of cigar smoke. You know, you could barely see in there. And uh, Arnold is sitting on this little chair. It's actually a regular-sized chair, but he made it look small because yeah. he's so big. And, um, and he's got the script in one hand that we wrote and the cigar in the other. And he looks up through the cigar smoke to us, and he goes, Hello, fellas. Now, how am I supposed to do the accent? <laughs> So right then we knew he had a good sense of humor. Yeah, he does seem to have a good yeah. sense of humor. And yeah. he kind of used us over the next couple of years to do Hans and Franz at these benefits and fundraisers for him. We'd have to dress as these, you know, Hans and Franz in those costumes that were hot and sticky. And he'd fly us all over the country, and it was ridiculous. But you can't say no to Arnold. You can't. You know? Well, he, he may call you, you and Dana to come up to Sacramento for the gubernatorial race. You never he know. Yeah, not say no. Yeah. You know what's happened? We've become his biatches. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have Biatches. Yeah. You gotta have at least a couple. Sure, why not? Now, you just got married. Kevin's a newlywed. A newlywed. <laughs> you got married about a year ago? Yeah, I got married about a year ago. Where'd you guys get married? I got married, uh, well, we both got married there. Um, <laughs> from what I heard. Uh, in uh, Bellagio in Italy, on oh, Lake nice. Como. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's nice. Not that Como. Different one in Italy. <laughs> And, um, and it was funny because we got there, uh, we, we had this thing planned, it was just gonna be me and her going to get married, just a very simple wedding, you know, no fanfare. And little did we know, three weeks, three weeks before we got there, uh, Matt Damon was there looking for weddings, for chapels to get married in. And uh, we had no idea, you know, it was this little town. And, and a week before we got there, we heard that, uh, when we got there, that somebody had read in the paper that uh, an American celebrity was coming to get married there. And uh, we're thinking, geez, I wonder who that's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> so we get there, and uh, they assumed it was Matt Damon coming to get married. So we get to our little wedding hall, the, the square there, and there's all these paparazzi out there, you know, and, uh, and uh, we're looking at it, thinking, geez, this is weird. I wonder what's going on, you know? <laughs> and we go inside. It's, nobody's around except for them and, and some locals. And we go inside. It's just us and the mayor and some other couple other people. I don't know who they were. I didn't ask. And, uh, and we got married like a half hour. 
And I look outside, as we're about to go outside, there's lots of paparazzi and all these Italian townsfolk looking over the, the uh, fences, you know. And, and they thought it was going to be Matt Damon, you know. And so I came out, and the first thing I did was I apologized. I said, I'm sorry. I, I'm not Matt Damon. I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry. You guys are very similar. They could have mistaken you for him. I know, um, and I get that all the time.